It's time for another Game Free. That's right, the show that provides you with 100% games that are free. So, Game Boy Jam 4 just wrapped up, and I checked out a plethora of their 100 plus games, and chose 10 of my favorites. 10 through 2 are in no particular order, but number 1 is definitely my favorite of this Game Boy Jam. Alright, let's get into it. First up we have Attack on Slime Fortress, which is just kind of like a dungeon crawling game. The slimes actually don't look like slimes from like Dragon Quest, they kind of look like Tamagotchis. You know, this little hero with a spear and you're just attacking them. They have their normal shapes, but they also have ones with like uh, different hats on and like a monocle and top hat. You destroy them, they kind of dissolve into like a poop substance and then they drop coins and that's about it. Next up we have Bio Karai, which is kind of like a top-down action game. You're going through floors defeating these weird demonic beings with your swords and they have sights and other projectiles and magics and other weapons and you're just kind of going from floor to floor defeating them and just kind of moving on and getting kind of a high score it's kind of a blurry little mess kind of like how uh, property based games were ported down to the Game Boy but it still holds some kind of uh, value visually and the gameplay is pretty fast and fluid. Black Whiskers is a pretty rad game. You are a pirate cat and you're going on this pirate ship. You're fighting a bunch of pirates. They look like they're some kind of birds, which makes sense because you're a cat. You have a kind of like, it looks like a cane, but I assume it's a sword. And you can shoot a pistol, which reloads the bullets after a certain amount of recharge time. Uh, you only have three hearts, and basically, it's really, really hard because of this. It <laughs> You die really fast. I respawn many, many times, but uh, to no avail sometimes. I just couldn't really make it that far. Still, the visuals are great and the music's awesome too, and it's just kind of fun. I wish I could just play more of it. Derek Stroyer is basically a nod to, I would say, Arnold Schwarzenegger, as well as Duke Nukem. You're just going through the levels, he's spouting some words at you, you're shooting things up. Uh, cool graphics again, fun gameplay, and <laughs> also very kind of hard, but I dig it. Trappy Miner is kind of like many other games of its ilk. A little like Spelunky or SteamWorld Dig. You got this little miner guy and he's trying to dig t as far as you can to collect uh, rewards. But there's bombs in place that'll kill you, and you also have bombs to make uh, your mining a little bit easier, but it's very, very tricky, <laughs> very hard to really get that far because it's, you gotta mine carefully and you gotta have some patience. But cool look to it, nice gameplay, let's move on. Now I'm not really sure what to call this game. Sky? Sci? S-C-Y? Whatever the case may be. You are a gun-toting cat, you're trying to collect these coins as wave-based enemies are coming after you. It's very, very crude and simplistic, but it's kind of like one of those play-on-the-go type of games that would be pretty cool on like the iOS. My favorite game from the last Game Boy Gen was Pocket Strongman. Now we have Pocket Strongman 2, Stronger Man. You're still like this kind of Contra-like Rambo hero, fighting out pigeons with guns. Again, very, very challenging. Amazing pixel art. It's just a weird game that's a hell of a lot of fun to just sit down and play over and over and over again and try and make it as far as you possibly can. Fire Pop is kind of a non-traditional type of game. Uh, it's more like a puzzler. You are a pirate with like a grappling hook or hook shot or anchor or something and you're just trying to pop bubbles. Uh, this other pirate will throw things into the mix, like the gravity little chain, so you'll go to the sides and try to hit these bubbles with your chain, you get power-ups. Just very, again, the word of the day here is simplistic. And it's simplistic, great art, fun music, it's just kind of a blast to play around with. Nandro Death Stealer. Now I'm not really a fan of the art, and ninja games have of course been done to death, but still it moves pretty sufficiently. Got an open kind of maze that felt kind of like a combination of Castlevania and Ninja Gaiden. Uh, again, crude, but pretty fun to just jump in and play a couple rounds of. And number one for this Game Boy Jam 4, 
is Cuckoo Castle. It is so, so awesome. You play this little chippy knight, you're going from this village to rescue people in this decrepit castle, you got this skeleton mage all over the place that's kind of giving you hints, and it's just an awesome, awesome action game. There's actually save points you can have in the game that you can just come back to. It feels the most complete out of everything, has amazing music, super, super well-defined graphics. It's like he's kind of like a little paper cutout wandering around this world. It's so good. The action's so meaty. You got little numbers flying around. And again, I just feel like it's the most complete uh, out of all these games. And because of that, it's my favorite game from Game Boy Jam 4. But if you want to check out any of these games, along with hundreds of others, you can go to Game Jolt and download it. The description is below, along with other great links to some older stuff and some projects in the making. So, until next time, see you then! 